All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Perfect 10 Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Jacob Erty. Alongside me, as always, Daniel Dees. That's right. I'm, I'm glad you made it. I mean, I'm barely here. You're barely here, but hey, this is your Jordan flu gang. This is. <laughs> but you don't have flu, though. Whoo, I might, dude, honestly, after. So, I mean, full disclosure, if my energy levels dip, just hang with me, all right? We're we going to make it. Played 90 holes of golf over the weekend. 90. And hit the casino till about 1 o'clock yesterday morning. Oh, or this, this morning, actually. You didn't tell me that part. Well, you know, is what it is. Had a good time. Yeah, that's 90 holes, though. I'm, at what point, at what hole number were you like, I can't do this? The first day, 36, not terrible. Second day, first 18, feeling it. Second 18 on the second day, chalk me up. Actually, the front nine, functional. Mm -hmm. the, the last of the, you know, I guess, well, I can't even do math right now. What, 46 through 54? Yeah. I mean, I, you could you could have bet me a you, you if you, you would if you would have said hey if you can hit a straight drive I'll give you a million bucks I'm dying poor, <laughs> dude never didn't know See, where I, like, didn't know where it was going. The most I've ever done was 27. The most I had done previously was 40 in one day. That's that's absurd. But that was one day. We had a tea time in the morning and just decided oh we might as well play till dark. That's absurd. But yeah, we played basically daylight to dark. Friday and Saturday, and then me and Jed stopped and played another 18 a day. But anyway, we're going to make it through. You're coming. Like, you came out stronger. You're a different man now. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I can play any course now, dude. That course was brutal. Hey. But anyway, so bear with me, people. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, and as you might have been able to tell by the title or that intro song, we're giving you top 10 fruits. Yeah, baby. Nature's candy. Yeah. Yeah. Natural sugar. Natural sugar. Um, Is it that great for you? Yeah, but it's better than the processed sugar. Absolutely. Now, yeah. we're going to clarify here. For anybody that doesn't know the difference between a fruit and a vegetable, you know, I mean, it, uh, uh, first off, can't blame you because they change the definition many times throughout our lives. Yeah, I'm just going shit with fruity flavor. So I'm it, not putting a tomato in there. Okay, well, so good example so you remember when we were kids that like the 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 definition of a fruit had some sort of something to do with where the seeds were yeah that never made sense yeah like the i think it was that the seeds were in the core of it I, it's but like there's i mean i guess but but strawberries the seeds are on the outside right yeah that's why it didn't make sense right but anyway so the easiest determining factor which i think i think everybody agrees on this one a fruit is anything that grows from a plant a vegetable is anything that's part of the plant. Yeah. If it's a root, a stem, or a leaf, it's a it's a vegetable. If it's any product of the plant, it's a fruit. Yeah. And we're not talking about nuts. That's <laughs> what is that? Legumes or legumes? What? Are you? Legumes. Legumes. Yeah, I think I think you're. I'll let you. I'll let you. Leg legumes. Legumes. I think it's legumes, dude. Could be. I don't know. I've, I've only ever read that word. Fair. Exactly. I never heard anybody just drop that in casual conversation. Yeah, you got any legu legumes? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. What uh, the fuck you say to me, boy? <laughs> you watch your mouth. <laughs> uh, all right, so trivia question. I forgot. Let's um, hear it. What is the primary or what is the largest food export of the United States? I wouldn't have thought of this, but after it, it made sense. Like, I'm going to go corn. No. Um, you want me to just give you the answer? No. Okay. Is it a fruit or vegetable? Or a protein? I guess it's a vegetable. I guess it's the vegetable. Oh. Um, so it's not corn. I mean, now, I mean, since you asked that, I guess this could be either one. Ah. What the fuck? What do you mean? It could be either one. It's a bean. Oh. I didn't even think about beans and fruits or vegetables, honestly. That's got to be a vegetable, right? I think, I think but it grows off of a plant. So, I think that's a legume. It's gotta be, too. Okay, yeah, it must be a legume. There we go. Um, so it's just beans, a kidney bean, soybean. Get the fuck, soybeans, dude. Get the fuck. Largest food and beverage export from the United States. I, I'd swear it'd be corn. Makes yeah, I agree. I don't know what to tell you. That has to be wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. So, do you have any honorable mentions? Yes. I got honorables and a dishonorable. Okay, I have honorables and a couple supers. Ooh, honorable. I got pear, grapefruit, kiwi, cantaloupe, 
watermelon, guava, orange, lime, and grape. Okay. And for dishonorable, pomegranate. I'll ride with you on that. I hate pomegranate. Pomegranate, um, yeah. It's a, I don't even know how to explain the flavor. It's just not good. Yeah, correct. They, they try throwing in like these drinks now, like blueberry pomegranate. I'm not touching it. Well, you can't. I, I already don't like blueberry. And add the pomegranate, they make it worse. You can't taste the pomegranate. I cannot, dis- I cannot accurately describe the flavor to you. It just tastes like depression. Okay. Like if depression had a flavor. So you're telling me I feel like pomegranate right now. <laughs> yeah, you feel pomegranate. <laughs> Whew. Uh, and it doesn't look appetizing either. Now there's cool little beans on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Not uh, for me. So that's all your. So that's all. My honorables. Um, I got peach, pear, satsuma, cucumber. I don't fucking say cucumber. <laughs> cucumber. Yeah, dude. Just because it's delicious in a in a summer vodka water drink. I was thinking of pickle. Pepino. Yeah, I per, I do prefer my cucumbers pickled. Me too. Um, super mention. I got Cheers. I got lemons and limes. Okay. You got to have them. Tito's soda or, or kettle soda lime. You know, sure, you don't really keep them in your fridge to make drinks with, but they're nice if you have them. Yeah. Lemon. I drank countless amounts of Tito's and lemonade this weekend. Mm-hmm. A nice, refreshing golf drink. And it doesn't, it doesn't bloat and dehydrate you quite like just pounding beers all day does, you know? Right. You can sip on a few vodka lemonades and survive the day just fine. You really can. I actually, I'm, I'm trying to invent a margarita right now using uh, Kane's lemonade as the base. Okay. Just experiment. I support it. Yeah. It, 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 can, it, ha, it can only go up from here. Bring one with you next time. I'll be your taste tester, dude. All right. I'll let you know which way to tweak it. You, you like know? rocks or frozen? I do. Ha- I actually do half and half. I don't know how to do half and half. Okay, we'll do. Uh, do frozen. All right, well, I'll do a frozen Cane's margarita. That's what I'll sip on next time you come in here. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, and also, fun fact. Um. Do you know that? I. I mean, I guess. Wait, where she's from? Brazil. Yeah. They call l- limes green lemons. Okay. But there is such thing as a green lemon. A green lemon is just an uh, an unripe lemon. Yeah. But limes are a totally different thing. Tighten this bitch up. But they call them green lemons. Yeah. So it's just a weird... I don't know if it's a... You can really hear that. I don't know if it's a language barrier thing, but uh, Samula swears that they just call them green lemons. So I was like, well, what do you call a lemon that isn't ripe yet? Well, that's a, a green lemon. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> that's not a lime, though. <laughs> uh, but anyway. So um, I guess dive into that list, dog. All right. Uh, just... Great segue. Number 10, lemon. Hey. Um, yeah, I mean I I, I won't reason it's they're good for scurvy. Yeah. Very Holla good. at your boy. Holla at your boy if you find them. Episode two or whatever yeah, it was. The scurvy kid. Yeah. He might have died. Hopefully not, but I mean COVID, I bet, I, COVID probably got watch him. Watch him be the same kid who ate the horse shit at, after the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Could be, dude. We'd never know. As far as I'm concerned, they're the same person. But yeah, lemon. I almost didn't put it because I was thinking about it. I don't eat lemons on its own. It, they are good for you. They are super good for you. You, eat the, you, you got to eat the rind, though. All the nutrients are in the skin. But I'm not doing that. But it, it balances the taste out, dude. If you have a, like a, just a slice of lemon, throw the whole thing down. It's delicious. I'm not doing that. But I love lemon icebox pie. I love lemonade. Ooh, lemon meringue pie. Yeah. Arnold Palmer's. Amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, lemon is also a good scent. Yes, Absolutely. It's one of the freshest, like, uh, it just smells clean. You're getting pine saw. Yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Gotta about. get the lemon scent, dude. dude How it smells lemon, fresh after you mop dude, the floor. Lemon pine saw after you mop the floor with some hot water, dude. There, it's, it's just a great scent. Yeah. I'm here for it. That's why, I mean, I put it in the super, you know? Yeah. Number nine, I got banana. Okay. I'm going to say that's low. Okay. We'll get back to it. Yeah. We're going to get back to it. And number eight, I got raspberry. Curveball. Who, where are you Shit. getting raspberries just to eat? You can get them at Winn-Dixie. Raspberries? Yeah. What does a raspberry look like? Like a blackberry? Yeah, but it's like pink-ish. It's like a pinkish blackberry. So it looks like an unripe blackberry. Yeah. Okay. I don't know that I've ever... Armel mentioned, by the way, cranberry. Did not think of cranberry. No, dude. Ain't nobody eating cranberries. Cranberry juice, though? Sure. It's good for you. And it's... It don't taste that good. Mix it with vodka, it tastes amazing. When you're eight... when. 
21 when you're 21 i'll still drink a fucking vodka cranberry right now yeah whatever dude uh, you're uh, you're out your mind no uh -uh, i'm not backing down from no, this dude no uh, cranberry vodkas are still great no cranberry juice is too bitter i mean yeah. don't get me wrong i drank a thousand of them fair but squirt some lime in that bitch i see now not because you got to alter it make it taste better no 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 anyway uh, you're not no you're wrong on this. uh so, that so was, yeah, number eight, raspberry. Raspberry because just the flavor of itself, and I could just pop it out of the pack like it's candy. Like I say, dude, I don't, I don't know that I've ever eaten just straight up fresh raspberries. Raspberry in a salad, also very good. Okay, I like uh, raspberry vinaigrette. Yes, that too. And yeah. think of the vinaigrette, but the raspberry itself in like a spinach salad with some feta cheese, some balsamic vinaigrette. That's some good eating. If you say so, dude, I'll take your word. I mean, like I say, I, I got, I haven't dabbled in raspberries. Okay, you should. Um, so 10 on eight. 10 on eight. So my number 10, some people may say this is criminally low, but to be honest, they ain't quite the hype. They don't live up to the hype. I got strawberries in the 10 spot. Okay. We'll get back to it. We're going to get back to very it. Very soon. Very soon. All right. All right. So that's my 10. My number nine spot. You had your honorable mention. Um, if it weren't for the tech, but see, I don't even really mind the texture other than the exterior. I got Kiwi. I do like a good Kiwi. It's fuzzy. Yeah. looks like a testicle yes and um, bust it open and but the, the the you know i don't even know what the consistency of the stuff on the inside is it's like gel almost but it's it's like a it's like a gelled mm -hmm. it's like a solid gel it's also one kiwi is also probably the most underrated smoothie ingredient yo oh, and i think you put a kiwi in any smoothie that bitch is going to be fantastic isn't kiwi a quote-unquote super fruit isn't it one of those yeah it's got a lot of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. I should have grabbed some of those on the way home. Yeah. But I'm always worried I'm going to run out of oxidants. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I stay stacked with oxidants. What are oxidants? Uh, uh, yeah, dude, you know what they are. <laughs> uh, so my number nine is Kiwi. My number eight, if you don't have this in your list, you're just wrong. I got blueberries. I don't like blueberries. Outside of a blueberry, nothing. Blueberries do nothing for me. No, dude. Blueberries. Yeah, I can just eat a handful. The only thing is they're expensive, Go bro. Go for it. All more blueberries for you. They're, I think they're the best antioxidant. Mm. But well, like I, you're worried about running out of oxidants. I, I hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just super worried about my oxidant. Levels. You're packing in some over there right now, dog. I see you. Yep. I got some more. Oh, I got some more. But no, blueberries, though, if they weren't like $20 for a handful... <laughs> That's insane. I mean, I haven't checked the price on inflation. Recently. Inflation has hit the blueberries. Hit blueberries hard. Uh, but blueberries, very good for you. Very delicious. And you can add them to anything. Mm, I think I'll take a raspberry. Like if I get like a muffin, it's going to be a blueberry muffin. That's the only time I'll eat a blueberry. They're blueberry delicious. Muffin. That's it. Uh, but anyway, I got them in the eighth spot just purely for the health. Okay. Number seven. I got cherry. Okay, don't have them on my list. Oh, you don't? Okay. No, because nobody likes cherries that much. Dude. Okay, as a fruit, I, I hate the texture of a cherry. Okay. But as a We are doing a fruit list. Yeah. <laughs> as a texture, I don't like the texture, but if you mash it, puree it, whatever, I'll, I'll just eat it. Like, the flavor cherry is probably one of the best flavors, but the texture knock it, knocked it all the right way down to seven. I don't really mind the texture. I mean, it just it tastes like, it feels like a grape, basically. Yeah, but it's, it's like a... It's different from a grape in the wrong way. You got to have them in an old fashioned, but don't mess up and spoon too much of the juice into the old fashioned. Then it's too much cherry, too sweet. You never had too much cherry. Like a, like a Mountain Dew Code Red, perfect amount of cherry. You talking about the drink itself? Yeah. Interesting. Probably my favorite soda. Okay. Cherry Coke, better than regular Coke. If you, I mean, I'm not drinking Cokes in general, but. Ever since I had COVID back in June, like I have no taste for Coke anymore. You shouldn't. Yeah, it sh like I taste it now. It's like I just I felt like I just drank syrup. Yeah, exactly. Like I just don't do it anymore. I don't either. I don't drink sodas anymore. I mean, I'll still drink a Mountain Dew Code Web. That's about as far as I, I go. feel like it. Just you can just taste like you're just drinking syrup. Yeah, that's how I feel when I drink a Coke now. Like at dinner, we went to Subway. I got a Coke. Couldn't finish it. Yeah. Well, that's that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's good for me. <laughs> I mean, shit. Uh. I used to pound them bitches. Oh, dude. When I was a kid, like now my, car my carbonated go to now is most likely beer. Yeah. As it should be. Never goes out of style. Speaking of <laughs> off subject, have you ever had a red beer? I'm uh, meaning like strawberry beer? No. You just order a red beer. 
What's that? So I like we we were just at the golf course. Some dude, uh, some dude was, was ordered a red beer, and the bartender goes, "Y'all ever heard of red beer before?" And I was like, uh, Bud- no, "Budweiser." I drink, I drink red stripe all the time. Budweiser. He was like, "No, nah, that's what I thought too." It's um, uh, it's just a, like any beer. Like uh, well, I got we got Michelobes and um, Bloody Mary mix. Sounds horrible. If you like Bloody Mary, it just tastes like a Bloody Mary. I mean, I love Bloody Marys. There you go. Get a get a Bloody Mary mix with a light beer. Delicious. All right. Do you still garnish it though? No. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, but, but it's it's interesting because it's like carbonated. Okay. But it's like, pretty good. I like to garnish. My Give it a Bloody run. Marys with like a fresh jalapeno. Okay. She did ask if we wanted jalapenos in it. I was like, no, nah, not today. I ain't feeling it. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so back on. Uh, cherry though, yeah. That cherry was... number seven, number six. You just, I think people overrate this one as well. I got strawberry. Strawberry. Let's be real. If you get them in the perfect, perfect uh, ripeness, sure, delicious. There's so it's so few and far between though. Exactly, and I mean chocolate covered strawberries. Sure, they're good. Eh, not for me. Eh, the taste of strawberry usually kind of bland, honestly. Strawberry daiquiri, good though. Yeah, it's, no strawberry. A, a bit of strawberry, elite. Any the flavoring strawberry of anything usually the best. Pink starburst, uh, like any strawberry flavored anything. Yeah, great. That's why I got strawberries. Strawberries as high as it does. Strawberries themselves, but though, as the standalone fruit, it probably would not make the top ten. Ain't nobody walking up and just eating more than three or four strawberries. If you are, you're insane. I mean, if you're sitting there and just knocking them down like they're chicken nuggets, then <laughs> uh, okay, guy. Get help. I don't, uh, I mean, there's worse things you could be eating a lot of. Sure, uh, but I just feel like maybe because we're from like literally the strawberry capital of the world, right here over the corner, around the corner. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're just overrated, you know. I think so too. Like I know there's some people in Ponchi right now, like cursing us and like fuck y'all. But South Tangy Pores, is that what we're Yeah, South Tangy Pores. Wait, what are, who are we even talking about when y'all say South Tangy Pores? Some woman that the group text knows says that people <laughs> from like <laughs> Hammond on down are South Tangy Pores. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, that, and she's like from Beatico or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, nice. I think that's the story. I may have butchered it, but still. It's still <laughs> I have no idea. Fun. I think it's hilarious. I, I, she's either from like Beatico or Madisonville calling us like dirty pores for being. <laughs> okay, well. Good for them, you know. Got, they're, I just they're, like the sound of the reference. The South Tangy Pours sounds like a team. Yeah, that's that's the name of our group. Message, <laughs> South Tangy Pours. Uh, uh, okay, so strawberries in your sixth spot. Strawberry in sixth spot. Okay, so my number seven spot. Probably not going to see this one coming. I'm going to be mind blown if you have this one in your list. Mm-hmm. Um, honeydew melon, <sighs> like in a it's, fruit cup, the green with the green ones. Yeah, it's all right. No, so the thing is, it's it, very refreshing. Very refreshing. If anything should be called a watermelon, that should be it. It should have been the honeydew melon. Yeah, they need like it tastes like water. It's like the jazz and the pelicans. Yeah, exactly. Like we should be That's the exactly jazz. Exactly what it's like. That's a pat myself on the back on that one. Uh, other than they don't have pelicans up there, but uh, no, it should be <laughs> no pelicans should just be scratched all together. Yeah, move the jazz. Charlotte yeah. could be whatever the hell they want to be. Let the Utah team. Be the Hornets because Utah's the Beehive State. Okay, there give us go. back the Jazz. Got it. What? What? So Carolina be like Carolina. Disband watermelons. Re reorganize them as the Honeydew Melon. Hold on, I got it. New Orleans goes back to the Jazz. Utah Hornets. Let Sacramento relocate to Seattle. They're the Sonics. Let the Kings be in Carolina because Charlotte is the Queen City. Okay. Look, I just figured I just fixed NBA. That was a lot, but somebody mapped that out in their head. I think I got it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the honeydew melon and in the fruit cup, delicious. I'll hammer the little green ones. It, but again, it's a good one. But they have to be the right, the, the right amount of ripeness. I didn't think of honeydew. I probably would have put it in honorable, not definitely not top ten. It, it tastes like sweet water. Yeah, it's that's delicious. exactly what it, I, I like it. It's delicious. Like I said, it's probably one of the more refreshing fruits out there. Absolutely. And like the green skittle and the, like the purple bag, yeah, that's honeydew. Uh, okay. They call it call it melon berry, but it's, I know honeydew when I taste right. it. Right, facts. Um, so segue from that into my sixth spot: watermelon. Mm-hmm. Watermelon. Um, if you didn't have to cut it all up, and it's had, just too much work. Exactly, too it's much like, work. It's like crab. If you it's could too just, much work for not enough payoff. If it always came cubed with no seeds, 
I could eat p- pounds of it. You know, just grab a fork, just eat it, you know, mm-hmm. just like cereal, basically, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just too much work. I, I don't I don't know that I've ever went and bought a watermelon. Never in my life. I can just stop. I don't think I've ever bought a watermelon. So I certainly haven't bought one and sat there and cut it all up. You ever see the slice. maniacs put, put salt on it? Oh, dude. I mean, get out of here. Talk about unhinged behavior. Shout out a couple episodes. Ago. Yeah. Putting salt on a watermelon. What are you doing? Why? Why eat a watermelon if you want to put salt on it? That's the same avenue as people putting extra sugar on strawberries. It's already sweet enough. Eh, nah, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna quite go that far because sugar, sugar is delicious. Salt on a watermelon, though. What, like, what you're defeating the purpose of a watermelon? That's like putting uh, ketchup on green beans. Ugh, green beans itself are nasty. No, Ketchup's I... disgusting too. <laughs> uh-huh. But no, watermelon. Like I say, if it wasn't for all the work, like if it came in the form of a grape, it'd be in the number one spot. Oh, if, for sure. If you could just grab chunks of watermelon and just throw them down, no work at all, delicious. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is my six spot. My number five, I got a good old peach. Okay. Loving like a good sweet peach. It's just <clears throat> something about it. Okay, I'm thinking of. Okay, when's the last time you ate a whole peach? Probably when I was like middle school level. So the only thing is when you get to that seed in the middle. That pit. The pit is creepy. Like you bite it, it's like, it's like uh, yeah, I know, it's like a root in here. It's like it's wood. Yeah, it's like a cork. You're like you're chewing on cork. Exactly. It's like it's like why is there wood in the middle of this fruit? <laughs> and it's got like it's it looks like a little looks like a little brain. It does. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's very nasty looking. It's weird. You know, like sure, peaches. Delicious. Imagine being the first person ever to eat a peach and get to that in the and middle. get to that. You probably think it's like the devil's fruit. Okay. I should not have eaten this. Yeah. You're thinking you poison. Off Something the is wrong. Yeah. I also like peach because we used to call this girl in middle school peaches. Okay. Cause we started a rumor about her because she was like a huge bitch, but she had like this scar on her lower lip and everybody, she never told anybody why she got the scar. I guess she was self-conscious about it or whatever, but we start the rumor that she was on the bus one day eating a can of peaches and the bus hit a pothole and the can cut her lower lip. <laughs> so we got everybody to call her peaches. I mean, that's a wild way to come up with a nickname. The more elaborate, the more likely it'll did stick. It, did it stick? Yeah, for like a good year and a half. Okay, nice. Peaches. Another one we got with her was... <laughs> eating a can of peaches. <laughs> Not just eating a peach. but <laughs> Could have been a can of anything. I think it would have stuck with her a lot longer, but this one dude had <laughs> like this big pad in her purse. So everybody started calling her the green monster after that. Okay. Well, yeah, pretty mean. Should have should have just called her tuna. Eating a can of tuna. Oh, that'd been funny too. It could have been a can of anything. Could have been. But we went with peaches for some reason. There. It's nice. Sure she enjoyed that. Uh so your five was peaches? Yes. Like canned peaches? Delicious, but they also soak them in sugar water. Yeah, the, like the syrup in the canned peaches kind of like it's thick. thick. It's thick as hell. But I also like throwing peaches in a smoothie as well. Oh, for sure. Like that's part of my ranking right there. Or like, in ice cream. Like how does the fruit act in a smoothie? Mm, yeah. Put it in some ice cream too. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Number four. I got apple. Okay. Just Do- apples in general. Doctors hate them. Um, yeah, because it keeps them away. Yeah. Um, do you have a specific apple? I didn't, just a blanket term. No, nah, see, you don't know your apples, man. Dude, Honey Crisp is by far the best. Not even close. Pink Lady got the Fuji apples. Uh, the the worst one's Red Delicious. Eh, it's not the worst. Yeah, it is. It's not the best. Oh, that's the fucking worst. What, what happened to the yellow ones? I haven't seen a yellow one in a long time. I think you mentioned them. That's a good point. They're nice and sweet, but they tasted real mealy. Like the consistency of them. Mm-hmm. Um, what were they even? Do you remember? What, was it? A, was it a Yellow Delicious? No, what was the yellow apples called? Because I've been Google I've it. been buying fruits recently. Ain't seen a yellow apple in a while. Didn't even think about it till you just said it, and I'm starting to, trying to think of all the different apples. Did you just Google what happened to you the yellow the yellow apples? <laughs> yeah, golden delicious. Golden, yes, obviously, dude. Yeah. Somebody was screaming at the radio. Yeah, they can get over it. <clears throat> Do they still exist? Yeah, in West Virginia. Okay. Clay County, West Virginia. West Virginia Ninja. You remember that, dude? Remember the Wild Whites of West Virginia? Yes. Hey, look, if you listen to this right now and you need something to watch tonight, go listen. Go, I mean, watch on YouTube. It's a it's a document. I think it's only on YouTube. Oh, uh, you can get it on free on Amazon Prime. The Wild and Wonderful Whites of West That's Virginia. That's it. That was one of the most insane documentaries I've ever seen. 
Dude, he's shaking the pill bottle. Like, that's the that's the something 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 county uh, mating, mating call. call. <laughs> I was like, I'm in love with this. And you got the uh, what's the, uh, Jethro White? Oh, was, dude. He said he's been huffing gasoline since he was like 14. And he's like in his 50s. Like his like I want them to study his brain when he dies. <laughs> dude, the wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. If you ain't seen it, go see it. Another spoiler alert. One of the funniest parts is when the like the drunk sisters show up at Taco Bell trying to order mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I haven't seen that in so long. Um, Beautiful movie. Anyway. Also has Hank Williams the third in it. Nice. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, Yellow Delicious Apples. If you find one, try it out. <laughs> How do we get that? Oh, we've, we've been on some runs on this one so far. So hey. my fruits. Uh, so that was your four There's spot. It's always those niche lists. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was your four spot? That was my four, Apple. All right, so mine Good, my- great pie, great juice. Oh, yeah, I mean, apples, dude. <laughs> Who's going to argue with you that apple is a top 10 fruit? You know? Nobody. If... You make a top 10 fruit list and the apple's not there, Ooh. get out of my face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Throw it in the trash. Yeah. Um. So my number five spot, I got a feeling you either forgot about this one or don't don't much know about them. I got muscadines. What the fuck is them? You never had muscadines? How do you spell it? M-U- M-U-S-C-A-D-I-N-E-S. Muscadines or muscadines, you know, whatever. You went very arbitrary with that. What do you mean? Muscadines, dude. There's red ones and gold ones. The fuck? These look like they look like grapes. They look like grapes and olive had like a baby. Dude, they're delicious. We used to have a vineyard of them behind the house. Like these six, are fucking grapes. Six hundred yard rows. No, very different. They're actually um, there's a lot thicker skin. They're very similar to a grape, but you can't eat them the same way. You don't eat the skin. These look like prison grapes. No, nah, dude. You use them to make wine. You use them to make uh, jam, jelly, um. They're, and they're, you can just eat them straight up. They're delicious. I never. You just made that. This is a made up. No, dude. Fruit. I don't. I mean, I don't know if it's inherently a southern thing, or maybe just because we had a whole orchard of them. We had six hundred yard rows of muscadines. Um, you never had a muscadine, dude. You blow my mind right now. The gold ones are delicious. They're nice. Never and sweet. even heard of these. They're nice and sweet. The purple ones are a little more bitter, but if you get them when they're they're the purple ones are the best if you get them at the perfect amount of ripeness. Muscadines. The gold ones are just usually pretty sweet all the time. Great fruit. wine. Yeah, whatever. You know Amato's wine, right? Wait, what? Amato's, I believe, is the name of it out of Independence. Uh, well, they sell strawberry wine and muscadine wine and well, good, wine. Straw- good strawberry wine will kill you. Um, but yeah, no, muscadines are delicious, dude. I can't believe you never had one around here. I mean, not. I mean, sure. I guess you have to be around somewhere that has them. We yeah. just happen to have a whole field full of them when I was little. Never do they existed. Um. I mean, I probably seen them. Probably thought they were fucking great. So, a if you come, if you're out there in the wild and you come across a muscadine, you just squeeze it like you pop it in your mouth. Like, don't don't eat the skin. You squeeze the inner part in, and trust me, it's a wild. It's like it's like a oyster, like the consistency of an oyster almost. The fuck. A little more bite to it than an oyster, and then spit the seeds out. But you eat that whole brainy part on the inside, <laughs> membrane, whatever you want to call it. Dude, I'm telling you, it's delicious. You should write a book with the way you use your words. Um. So. That's my five spot. My number four spot. We have not overlapped a single time, except for strawberries. Strawberries. We're about obviously to. apple. We're about to. Um, speaking of speaking of apple, I got the I got the pine version. What number? Pineapple in my four spot. All right, we'll uh, get there. We're gonna get back to it. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you uh, go ahead. Then that was my five four. Uh, my number three. I got blackberry. <sighs> Love blackberries. No, you don't, dude. The fuck I don't. Actual blackberries? Actual black. I got them in my fridge right now. Just <laughs> eating them, just raw dog and blackberries. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like, what's, there's, there's, there's like hard stuff on the inside. Seeds. Seeds, that's what it is. <laughs> you forgot the word seeds. Uh, no, 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 I didn't forget the word. It's just, uh, it's like they're so small. I didn't realize. Yeah. It. It's a drawback. Like, yeah, that's the only you, thing keeping it from number one. And the, if that's no, keeping dude, it from number one, taste. that's a strong ass fruit. <laughs> There's hard stuff on the inside. Blackberry Seeds. jam. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling, you, I'm telling you, my brain is running on fumes right now, son. Yeah, not, I mean, not just all that I yeah, drank all weekend, but I, uh, shout out Jed. I know, I know you're listening, dog. I mean, I know you. You ain't never heard nobody your snore like this, man. <laughs> your imagination is running wild. You made up a fruit on the fly called muscadines. No, dude, you found you found it in a Google search immediately. You put it there. Uh, but no, dude. Uh, seeds. <laughs> Yeah, the 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 crunch of them things, dog. Dude, I'll I'll kill a thing of black. And they stain everything, bro. 
don't get, don't be a messy eater. No, no, no. I'm talking about your mouth, your skin, anything that touches. Teeth, dude. It gives it gives purple mouth worse than red wine does. I'll agree to that. It stains anything it touches immediately. Purple. Blackberry jam, blackberry and ice cream, blackberry cobbler, blackberry wine, blackberry anything. I shrimp will... stew, shrimp gumbo. Oh, yes. shrimp... <laughs> I'll throw some blackberries and some gumbo. I'll fuck around and do it. All right, dude. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, blackberry, number three. That is a interesting pick for a three-spot, dog. <sighs> my Pretty concerned that you don't have my number one yet. Not gonna. Oh my god! Not gonna just because I can tell by process of elimination. Um. Anyway, so my number three spot. You said apples. I'm specifically gonna say pink lady apples. Pink ladies are very good. They're the best. The I'm not gonna argue with that. The consistency of them. They got a good bite to them. Mm -hmm. And it's crisp. It's crisp and sweet and very juicy. Mm -hmm. Um, like the uh yellow, the golden delicious or whatever. Too mealy, like too soft and mealy, Mm -hmm. like cornmeal almost. Um, red delicious, a little too hard, not okay. very, not terribly juicy. The pink lady though, is the perfect combination of all things. Apple. All right. But I mean, apples in general are good. Yeah. But pink lady specifically my three spot. Uh, all right. My number two spot, pineapple. Okay. Again, if it came in, in, in a, uh, it's juice is my favorite mixer of all alcohol. Pineapple juice. I can mix that bitch with anything. OJ's good. I love OJ. But yeah, you can't like substitute pine pineapple for anything you would use OJ for. Yeah, pineapple, I just feel like it's a better juice than OJ for liquor. Yeah, a lot you of can mix brown with it. A lot of mix. people are migrating toward pineapple juice for uh mimosas instead of OJ. I think me and Forty Eight started that shit. Cause over at Brady's, back when they did bottomless mimosas back in the day, all we do is do pineapple mimosas. Yeah, it's still it is good. It is fucking great. Um, but pineapple again, if it came in a form like a grape, just like watermelon, it could be in the one spot. It's too much work. Yeah. Even I, the chunks of pineapples you buy at the store are too big. You just can't put it in like a baggie and just pop them in your mouth. Oh, but dude, the chunked pineapple, you you just take little, you know, little, I don't know, like one inch cubes. I could hammer them all day. And dude, a pineapple slaw on a taco. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yes, indeed. Very good. Very, very good. Um, Okay. That's your two spot? That's my two spot. Um, and the ladies love pineapple too. Yeah, of course. For obvious reasons. Uh, my number two spot. Um, train. Uh, drink. I just drank the rest of my beer. So. Dang it, dude. That, what was the last time we heard a train on this show? I think we've gotten too used to it. Because I believe, I believe I heard one a while ago, now that you say that. Maybe. Um, my number two spot. Um, had a hilarious encounter with these recently. <laughs> but... Uh, it was kind of it's kind of spoiled the pick in the opening song. I got bananas. Bananas are very good. Um, again, more 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 so for health reasons. Probably the only fruit that can that goes good with peanut butter. Okay, good with peanut butter. Good in ice cream. Good um, good in smoothies. Very good in smoothies. Well, my, my only problem with a banana in a smoothie, it makes the whole smoothie taste like banana. It's probably the strongest fruit flavor. Um, that's why. I, I, yeah, I will put a banana blueberry in my strong. Uh, raspberry dude i mean uh, cranberry is a very strong flavor but i know what you're saying it I, think overtakes it's the whole I think it's because the volume it's a yeah. lot of volume good point um but yeah bananas though i mean they feel like the healthiest of all fruits yeah but they do not last more than like a week no. you, if you're gonna buy a, a bunch of bananas which they're basically free they're almost giving them away 59 cents a pound that i mean it's the best deal what else can you buy for that price i mean maybe rice <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> last boat trip, whenever, whenever, oh, I just thought bananas foster. Yeah, bananas, everything you put it in cereal. I should have put bananas higher now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, bananas are great. Bananas uh, are great. Um, but yeah, last boat trip, <laughs> uh, we're buying like supplies to head across the lake and we get out to, uh, we get out to the mouth of Ponce train. <laughs> Jay Gray never said a word to me about it at all until all of a sudden stuff started going wrong. He's like, yeah, dude, because you bought those bananas. <laughs> I was like, what are, you, dude, what are you talking about? He's like, what do, you, what do you mean? You know, bananas are bad luck on a boat. I was like, dude, I've been on boats my entire life, <laughs> sailing all over the place, long trips. I ain't never heard this bad luck bananas thing. So he, he's, he's swearing up and he goes and Googles it and something about 
but it's mostly in relation to fishing charters. We weren't fishing, okay? We were just traversing the open seas. So, so we, like, two, both engines shut down. We got all kind of problems. So he's like, so he's like giving me the business about the bananas. He was like, so, so we got it back going. And uh, he's like, all right, if we get him, the engines back going, can I throw the bananas overboard? I was like, I guess, dude. <laughs> so I get the engines going back. So I'm back there doing something. And Coach Ben has a video of it, dude. I got a, I think I, I think he sent it to me. You just see Jay Gray come out the side door and just chunk the whole thing of bananas overboard. He's like, hey, I just solved all our problems. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a good trip the rest of the way. It was like, I mean, okay, dude. It's sure. I mean, gotta we give gonna, him credit. We were gonna fix the engines regardless. Okay. I mean, he threw the bananas over. Did you run any problems after that? Uh, well, at the mar- at the marina, but that, that doesn't count. That wouldn't do with us. Yeah. Uh, but so you bought them bananas. If, on that if you're out there listening and you're going on a fishing charter, don't bring bananas. They will give you the business. Okay. So that was my bananas. Was my two spot. My number one. I think I know what it's going to be. Is it round? Ish. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is it mealy, white substance? Mm. Probably the best ingredient you could put in anything, in my opinion. Best ingredient you could put cream, in smoothies anything. on a pulled pork taco. Like, it's just great. And I could eat it by itself. And it's just delicious. The juice. Oh my God, the juice. <laughs> great too. Now you got me one mango. Mango, what? Mango, baby. That's the king of fruits for dude, me, dude. You're a maniac, bro. Ain't nobody listening thought mango was going to be in anybody's because not many because not many people are high intelligence like me <laughs> and have, have, to, have elite <laughs> taste like me. Elite taste. Mango is the best fruit bar none. <sighs> I mean, I've never eaten a mango. You should try it. So stop talking shit. I've eaten mango. No, I've eaten mango and like, uh, you know, like that comes already sliced up and stuff. But like an actual a mango, does it look like a pear? Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to say pear until you said it's the best ingredient to add to everything, which still, I don't know how mango is that answer. Dude, but, you ever had a mango slaw or pineapple slaw on a taco? Mm, it's much better. I don't think so. Dude, mango slaw on any type of taco will just elevate. But it. mango itself? Delicious. It's very similar to a peach. It's like if a peach and an orange and a pineapple had a baby. I don't know that I could pick a mango out of a lineup right now. It's kind of like a greenish red casing. That's okay. weird. But it's shaped like a pear, kind of? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, similar to a guava? Yeah. Okay. Better. I think I, I think I, I think I got it. More like a football shape sort. Yeah, look at this delicious motherfucker. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, you're you're a maniac, though, dude. No, dude no, mangoes are the best. Nobody's putting mango in their one spot. I am, because like I said, high intelligence, elite taste. I think anybody that's listening to this, since that tra- that pick was trash. Uh, no, mango's the best fruit by far. Anyway, so we're gonna segue to what I believe everybody would put in their number one. You're going to say grapes. It's grapes. Get the fuck it's out. It's hands down grapes, dude. Get the fuck out. You just, they're, they're, I mean, when you think of kings, what do you imagine somebody feeding them? Grapes. When I imagine babies choking, I think grapes. You like, you, you support baby killing, Jake? Well, yeah. I mean, you don't like the Patriot. You support bad parenting, apparently, if, you, if you're giving babies grapes. My kids are still alive because I don't give them grapes. There you go. Um, but no, grapes are delicious, dude. I mean, ever since they uh, scientifically figured out how to breed the, the, the seeds out of them, oh my God. you can just hammer them, bro. I mean, just throw them down just nonstop, are- dude. What do you mean? Grapes are what? Say it. They're delicious. Honorable mention at best. No, at you're a maniac. Best. Dude. Grape juice. Grape juice is good. But you ever had a grape soda? Grape. Doesn't even taste like a goddamn grape. Grape drink. Uh, <laughs> just taste whole, like- whole grape everything. Grape guys. candy is trash. Grape Jolly Rancher, trash. No, dude, you're out of your mind. No, I'm talking about fruits, bro. I don't care about flavored stuff. I'm just saying. The flavor is mid at best. No, dude. 
Grapes are unbelievable. I could eat seven pounds of grapes if you put, especially out the fridge, nice and cold. Or if you freeze them, drop them in some and wine. You, and then you wine fucks try to say, oh, there's something called cotton candy grapes. Tastes like cotton candy. They do. No, they no the fuck they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they do not. It tastes nothing like cotton candy. Well, I mean. It just tastes like a sweet ass grape. And clearly, scientists are really into grapes for some. They're, they're just making all kind of. Because they're. Because they're delicious. No. That's so they're in the number no, one spot. No. Grapes are obviously the number one, dude. I'm not talking about flavor, and I'm talking about the grapes themselves. I could, li- I mean, God made a mistake when he made grapes. Nah, you're out of your mind, dude. Grapes make wine. <laughs> you can make wine out of any fruit. Muscadines. Yep, you sure can. Get the fuck. Satsumas. You can do that too. <laughs> they can make lemon wine, dude. Uh, but no, no, grapes, though, are oh, the. Pelicans came back inside it to go in overtime. What? Yep. We were getting our ass beat by the Jazz. Um, nice grapes, I believe, are the only naturally occurring, uh, like the the balance of yeast and sugar inside certain grapes can make wine all on its own. Yeah, you don't have to mess with them. They're, that's why grapes are perfect, dude. Though you don't want to eat those grapes because they taste terrible, like actual wine Fuck grapes. Actual wine grapes. Get out. No, dude. I mean the fact that they that that wine is made out of grapes alone. You can make puts wine grapes out in the of number any one damn spot, fruit. Dude. I'm sure there's not mango naturally, wine. bro. I'm sure there's mango wine out there that is superior to any grape wine out there. Out your mind, bro. Get out. Grapes suck. Uh, I mean, you can say that all you want, dude. I mean, you, yeah, I like grape juice. That's about as far as I go with grapes. Nah, dude. I can eat handfuls of grapes. Get that baby killer fruit out of uh, here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I guess, I mean, shout out. Don't give your don't give your babies grapes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, cut I them. didn't know this was a problem. <laughs> yeah, I cut them vertically. Okay. Because <laughs> you cut them like. They still get lodged in there. Okay. Didn't, I mean, I don't have kids, so I'm not worried about things they're choking on. But now I know not to give my friends' kids grapes. Yeah, don't do it. Because I might have, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I just do, I hand them anything. Here, take this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at pictures of mangoes on Google Images. That's just, that's just a delicious looking all right, motherfucker. Anyway, right dude, uh, do, do rundowns. All right, number 10, I got lemon, nine, banana, eight, raspberry, seven, cherry, six, strawberry. Five peach, four apple, three blackberry, number two pineapple, number one the goat mango. Yeah, whatever. My number ten spot. I got strawberries, nine kiwi, eight blueberries, seven honeydew melon, six watermelon, five muscadines, four pineapple, three pink lady apples, two bananas, and number one the world's favorite grapes. Trash. Wine alone justifies wine. You get wine out of any fruit. Um. Anyway, so strawberries wine's way far superior than any grape wine. It's not naturally existing. Who dog. cares if it's not naturally existing? Um. So th- you like fake titties? Those aren't natural. I like real ones more. Yeah, but look you at still, that. Look you at still, that. You still like fake ones? <laughs> uh. Uh. So Thursday, y'all are gonna be getting top ten worst champion team champ champions. Worst champions. Worst champions. Yeah. I I, I still think we need to do a list of. Worst championship, no, worst championship losers. Like teams that even made it there. Worst championship contenders? Yes, there we go. Okay. Um, And that could include fighters and stuff, too. I didn't even think about I that. I got fighters on this upcoming list. I did not think about that, dude. Oh, man. I, I'm a, I got some huge misses on my list already. I, just, I was thinking major, time. I was thinking major sports teams. I did not think of fighters. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Because there's a lot of those. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, there goes some misses by me. People are used to it. Uh, so, till then. Like missing on grapes. Peace. Peace.